Hey guys, Andy Wood here, executive leadership coach and certified health coach. And recently I started a little series called Lessons from the Fence Line. And uh, it's some things that I've been learning in the process of taking care of a mess that's accumulated over a period of time. And it's this, uh, this growth of stuff that now lies dying uh, after I've cut away a large part of it, still a long way to go. But uh, just some areas of uh, neglect over the years that have accumulated, uh, that you can see has affected uh, the fence posts and, and things like that. And fence really needs to be addressed. But before we could do that, so much stuff had to be taken off of it. And so in the process, I've learned some lessons from the fence line. And, and just by way of review, the fence line can refer to any any dimension of your life that has purpose or value or importance, whether it's your spiritual life or your career, your health, any or your relationships, anything like that. And yesterday, the first lesson of the, the uh, fence line is that the longer you wait, the more you're going to have to do and the longer it's going to take to get to, to get it where you want it to be. But there's a second lesson that we can learn in the process, and that is having the right tools can make the job easier. One of the famous quotes that came out of World War II is when President Roosevelt had sent Winston Churchill a, a, a message of encouragement, and he quoted a poem, I believe, from Tennyson, and, and uh, Churchill read this to the British people, this, this letter of encouragement from the American president, and he then issued this beautiful challenge. He, he said, what shall I say uh, in reply to this man? And he said, Mr. President, give us the tools and we'll finish the job. Well, I, you know, I could have come out of here and, and uh, tried, to, tried to tackle the blackberry vines and, and uh, the uh, crepe myrtles and the other things that were growing up and growing like crazy and uh, really tearing up the fence. I, I could have gone out of here and, and, and just try to barehand it. Well, let me just tell you something. These blackberry vines... They got stickers on them, man. <laughs> they hurt. And it's bad enough when you're wearing gloves. But on top of that, a lot of this stuff I could have manhandled, but I had some tools available. Now, the tools right now are in the shop. I probably would make a whole lot cooler video if I went up there and showed you the weed eater with the brush cutter on it, and I showed you the chainsaw and all that. Just use your imagination, okay? I learned pretty quick I needed to have gloves on, and my arms testified I probably should have worn some long sleeves in the process. But having the right tools made a difference. And sometimes some tools could substitute for other tools. There was a, a, a bit of overlap. When you look at these giant, long uh, limbs that have been cut along the process, one of the things uh, that, that I figured out was if the chainsaw wasn't behaving, Sometimes the weed eater with the brush cutter would work. If the weed eater couldn't handle it, sometimes uh, I have a kind of an industrial strength loppers uh, that you cut tree limbs with. A lot of times that worked. And so having the right tools made it easier to get a very difficult job done faster. Stop trying to barehand your reclamation projects. Stop trying to make this a kind of a one trick pony kind of thing. Don't make your life that way. If you want to learn one of the lessons of the fence line, recognize that there are tools, there are resources that are available to make your job easier and to make restoration easier in your life. So learn the lessons of the fence line. Stop trying to barehand it. Stop trying to do it alone. Take advantage of the resources and the tools that are available to help you get the job done. Now go out and make a difference in your world.